I'm going to try to demonstrate how to take this wireless gaming receiver, plug it into a Windows 8 machine that happens to be a Mac Mini. Um, so you can see I'm running Windows 8. Here's the device, the wireless gaming receiver. Let's get started. So when we plug it in, it's going to show as an unknown device, and you'll hear a tone of USB recognition, but it won't quite know what to do with it. Okay, actually we heard no tone, so it just sits there as an unknown device. If we look at the properties of the device, yeah, the hardware ID, you know, Google around, we'll find that is the device uh, that I got from Amazon. So the next thing is, how are we going to get a driver on there? Um, you can do it from here, or even better, Windows X key, device manager, right, to bring that up again. You're going to see your unknown device. Right-click the unknown device and say, update driver software. Browse my computer for driver software and let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. If we scroll all the way down, you'll see there's an Xbox 360's peripherals built right into Windows 8. So I didn't download anything from the web. Click Next. It gives me three options. The Xbox controller, or plug and play charge kit, or the last one, wireless receiver. That's what we're installing first. So let's just click Next. It's warning me. And it says, success. So that went well. No third party drivers. Let's have a look. If we look at the properties of that driver it just installed, it's by Microsoft and it's recent. So that was easy. I've now set up an external camera view and we just finished installing the Windows 8 native driver that comes with Windows 8 that kept us from having to use the PC driver mini CD-ROM that the external wireless receiver came with. So now we want to turn on the controller and begin the pairing process with the wireless receiver. We want to make sure our Xbox 360 console is unplugged from the wall. So now we tap this button to turn the controller on. It doesn't turn on the console. And now it's easy to go into pairing mode. The button on the top makes a click and the other button on the dongle itself makes a click. You can hear the device manager recognize the device and see that the Xbox 360 wireless controller showed up. If we right click on that game controller and say game controller settings, point to the Xbox 360 for Windows device and say properties, we now have this nice interface to show that we have successfully installed this controller. Cool thing is adding another controller is as simple as tapping the two buttons at once and the next controller comes on the line as well, all with the same single wireless receiver.